Welcome to the Royal Menagerie. The King of Ruin built this place for his foreign queen. He kept it filled with familiar creatures from her homeland. They bored me all. This fine specimen, on the other hand, is simply divine. Your fates are entwined, are they not, Icon Slayer? This dragon, this embodiment of unbridled despair, born of a desperate man's burning hatred for the Empire. How raw the raging tempest that churns within its breast. No myth made manifest this, but a being of pure violence. <laughs> Mayhap you are the true architect of our design. You who fought the very soul of vengeance to the edge and watched him fall. You who let slip the Alagon Hound to drive this icon into my arms. Oh, my, have I said too much. Forgive me, this sensation is wholly unfamiliar to me. A question, then, and I should like very much for you to speak from the heart. If I were to stand aside, what would you do to this icon? Ah! As simple as that. But of course, you are the Icon Slayer. Such certainty is to be expected. A pity. There is another alternative. Or there would be. Had you only mastered your ability. I speak of the Echo, of course. Does it merely render you immune to iconic influence, or is it rather that your influence is far greater than theirs? Granted, these implications are of no moment to a savage who thinks only of killing the beast before him. But when I read Van Belsar's reports, I immediately saw the boundless potential of the Echo. I saw how it could be instrumental in binding an icon one's will. Hence my research and the resonant. I know so much more. All icons must be exterminated without exception. Such was the imperial mandate issued by my great-grandfather after he saw firsthand the destruction wrought by one such being. They are a blight upon this star, he felt. And so he began his great and just crusade. Ha! T'was not justice which spurred his campaign, but fear! Fear of the icons! Fear of their power! Cowardice made them march forth to battle. Pathetic. Man should fight for the joy of it. To live, to eat, to breed. Lesser beasts snap and howl at one another for this. Only man has the wisdom and the clarity to embrace violence for its own sake. For we who are born into this merciless, meaningless world have but one candle of life to burn. I know you understand this. You and I are one and the same. Together, we could while away the quiet hours as friend and confidant. 
if you accept me. <laughs> Are we to embrace and let bygones be bygones? Do our deeds weigh so little that you would cast all aside? Come. It was plain from the first how this would end. You live for these moments. When all hangs in the balance. When the difference between life and death is but a single stroke. I live for them too! This is who we are, my friend! This is all we are! Alamigo and Doma and Garlemald be damned! The gods! You by your gift, I by my might. And before the resonance, the gods shall be made to kneel. ending to mark. 